What's up, everybody? Week three is crazy. This month is flying by. Um, but strength workout for today. So let me run phone quick. I'll kind of go through everything, like always. Um, some of the new repeats that we've done before, some new things, kind of like what we had past week. So first two warm-up exercises, step back lunge, five on each side. Let's go two sets for each. Then we're gonna do some single leg wall sits. We'll try to do 30 seconds. Um, I'll show you some modifications that we can do. Um, and we'll just kind of do a touch experiment and see what works for you, right? Some people can't do a single leg. Some people might not be able to do quite as well. You may have two legs, just tons of variations that we can do. And that's totally fine. We just meet you where you're at. And then we know if you have to regress, you know some regressions or progressions, things that you can do uh, going forward. Then we're going to do some twist jumps. Um, after the twist jumps, we're going to do some split squats. With weight, if you have it, with a backpack of weight. Um, if you don't have any weight, then we're going to do it as a tempo variation. So I'll show you that tempo variation on um, how we'll work through that. Then we'll do some single leg calf raises and soleus raises, some bench dips, and a hip burden series. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, let me show you. Uh, we've done step back lunges. I'll still go through everything we had previously. So, we we're going to step back lunges. Roll up and back. Up and back. And alternate if you want to the side. Make sure you're getting that knee drive each time. This is the position you want to get to from the right standpoint. So we'll go to five on each side. And take a little rest and then repeat. So for the single leg wall six, I'm going to use this here. We're just gonna hold. So if you can, if I go to the side here, you can see my deck. It's hard to see, but I'm about 90 degrees. If you can't get to 90 degrees and hold that for 30 seconds, try to get to at least like a 60 degree um, angle at the knee. If that's too tough, put your toe down to help balance. You're still putting most of your weight here. You're just using this as a kickstand. If that's still too tough, then you can do both and just hold the ball set. We're trying to activate those quads and the warm that for a little bit. Keeping your back flat against the wall and then focusing on getting close to 90 degrees, you can really activate those quads before we do those things. The plyometric today is going to be a twist now. So, we've done this before. We're going to start with our toes standing pointing in one direction, our trunk pointing in the other, and then we're just going to twist. Nice and quick. Focus on not being on the ground very long. Just touch your finger. Okay, 30 seconds, three sets of that. If you want a metronome, you can set a metronome to 150 beats. If you want to get a little harder, 130 beats. Um, but focus on being quick off your range. Okay, then we're going to go into our split squats. So if you've got a backpack with some weight, throw that on. If you've got some dumbbells, kettlebells. You can go here. And we're basically going to go into our split squat position. Our step back lunges with a line like this. Down and up. Down and up. If you're 8 to 12, if you don't have weights, and this is too easy, you can do it as a tempo variation. So we'll go down three seconds. One, two, three. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. And then up. One, two, three, one, two, three, up. One, two, three, one, two, three, up. So that's a modification you can make. You can do just regular. You just have four different progressions. You can do just regular split squats up and down with no weight. You can do the tempo variation, down three seconds, pull three seconds, up quick with no weight. You can do regular squats with weight or the tempo variation with weight. Let's do eight to 12, depending on where you're at, on one side and then switch sides. If the tempo variation is too tough, just go to five minutes. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. So, single leg cap raises. We're going to do these like we've done in the past. Keep one foot, and then we go this way, not too far. Contrast back on. So, right here, right? I'm going to use weights, use backpack, use no weights. Up, down. Remember, we're going straight to the ceiling. We're not progressing this way. So, up, 
and down. 15 or so, then throw those weights on that heel or the knee that's up and do this one. Now we're hitting the soleus. We're biasing the soleus instead of hitting the full half complex. 15 there, switch legs to the other side. 15, 15, that's one set of each. It's like over that two to three times. We're going to do bench. Oh, yeah, bench kicks. I'm going to put my chair against the wall. Step up. And one and two. I'll do it from the side as well. So, if you can get out of here, you can get down to 90. That's ideal. If you're doing the small ones, all the time. So, reset the time for those. And then we're going to do a hip burner series. So, for the hip burner, we have the floor. Ideally, if you can do this one against the wall, that would be best so that you can have your shoulder against the wall, hip against the wall, and it will heel this heel against the wall. What you're going to do is you're going to go up and down 10 times, heel just kind of going right up against that wall. Then you're going to hold maybe 10 circles forward and then 10 circles back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you'll switch. The reason that the wall is important is so that you can keep good alignment and focus on using that good knee instead of the front muscle, the PFL. Um, if you are going to do this typically, people are going to look like this, right? Their head, their hips, their legs. Instead, I want you to look like this, right? I want your head, hips, and ankle to be a straight line. I don't want you to be bringing that leg forward. So having your back against the wall so that everything is in contact with that wall will help keep things going in a more optimal plane of motion. So everything for today. Again, have a good, good day, good Monday, good start to the week. Let's keep things going, keep things consistent. Uh, hopefully you've been enjoying these videos. Hopefully they've been helpful to kind of hold you accountable, give you some ideas for programming um, and things that you can use down the road. Awesome. We'll talk to you soon, everybody.